the governor's done with the budget, not only is it balanced, but he said, we can't continue just to get by. We're going to have to make some serious change if we're going to really turn the ship and get Michigan back to work. Uh, all throughout the last year on the campaign, the talk was, I want people to have opportunity in Michigan. This is what folks told me as well. I want my children, my grandchildren, to have opportunity in Michigan if they choose to stay. And I said, you know what, that, that is just an absolute tragedy if someone is forced out of Michigan when they would rather be here to take a job outside of the state. So it is jobs that is going to allow people to stay here. It's jobs that's going to increase tax revenue to the state without increasing the burden on any individual. But how do we, how do we go about that? And so the governor's tax plan, um, and it, again, the tax plan and the budget are interlocked together. If, if we do not make the adjustments that we have to make in the budget, then the tax plan uh, cannot happen. And the proposal is for a going away from the Michigan business tax, which we've had uh, the last couple of years, and going to the 6% corporate income tax. Now that 6% tax is a tax that would apply only to C corporations. Uh, S corporate, subchapter S corporations, LLCs and others would have pass-through taxation and they would pay at the individual rate of four and a quarter percent. So it's really simplifying the tax, 6% across the board, take your uh, you know, income at calculated, uh, assign 6%, write a check for the tax liability and you're on uh, running the business, as, as our Lieutenant Governor says. And uh, it's something that's very predictable and very calculatable for, uh, calculatable is a word, for businesses. Uh, but um, if you look at uh, around the region too, what it does is you look at our neighbors, uh, you'll notice uh, Illinois has a very similar situation, very tough budget uh, and financial situation there. Uh, what they chose to do was to increase tax rates. They did it both on uh, individual income as well as businesses. And just the other day, it was earlier this week, I think it was Monday, I was driving to Lansing. I was listening to NPR on the drive down, and they talked about since Illinois has made that adjustment, it was just about a month ago, currently there are three other states that have active advertising campaigns to Illinois businesses trying to attract them across the lines. It was Wisconsin, Indiana, and New Jersey, of all places. They were, they were uh, saying, you know, hey, this is the situation in our state. Uh, I think one of the billboards read that the grass is greener on the other side and they had a map of Indiana. But as you look at our partners, all of including Wisconsin, including Illinois, the 6% rate will put us 1.9% below our nearest competitor. And I think that's going to go a long way to help create the environment where jobs can be created. And the reason I say that is it's not the government that creates jobs. And I think that having that mindset is, is, is wrong. The, the government's role is to create an environment where job creators can thrive. That's you folks here in the room. Create the environment and allow you to create the jobs, the entrepreneurs, the business owners. And so that's what, um, what the governor's committed to. That's what I'm committed to. And I think it's the right thing to do.